Hi Aries, and this is Patricia Luna, and welcome to your March 2019 reading. I'm so happy for all of you to be here. So Aries, you came in fifth place, and number five is a very beautiful number as it, it talks about changes, and positive changes are coming towards you. So when I got into your energy today, um, Aries, um, I felt a sense of sadness for some of you, okay? Um, there's a lot of healing taking place. I feel for a lot of you. And uh, the song that I got for you, uh, Aries, it was just one song. And this song, uh, it you have to really go back because it's an old song because I had a hard time finding it because I was humming it all day. And <laughs> and then like I had to ask people, I go, do you know this song? Because this is a song that I have to play for Aries. I have to tell Aries about this song. And finally tonight, I found uh, the maker of the song. So the song is called Foolish heart or foolish beat I'm not sure which the title is and it's from debbie gibson now for those of you debbie gibson uh she sings a foolish uh, i think it's foolish beat or something so you have to listen to the song or listen or look at the lyrics if there's something in the lyrics that you sense is yours it's something that is meant to be for you so before i start the reading um i want to tell you that um well First, before I, start, I have a few announcements to make. So the first announcements I have to make is that any of you that uh, want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, I am currently booked till June of 2019. Normally, on an everyday basis, people just reserve with me. You could do the same, or you could come back in June or July, you know, and see if there's space for a reading for you. And my website is uh, the CMC Collective 1111.com. So it's the CMC Collective 1111.com. And um, I will be starting my email readings, okay, uh, in the month of April. Um, so if you want to also join there. And I also have a new moon or full moon uh, ritual if you'd like to donate for that on my website as well. For those of you that are in, on Instant Go, or want to ask a quick question, uh, there's Instingo, which is um, www.instingo.com, Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111. You can ask a question. and uh, But I'll, I will always only be in Instingo at the end of the month. Okay, but for those of you that are waiting for questions, if I come to you and you're not there, that means that it was not in divine timing and all is well. So don't worry about it, okay? For the others of you, you could follow me on Instagram under Patricia, under uh, Patricia, with a Z, not with a C, with a Z underscore 1111. And uh, I do go there live to do free readings or mini readings, okay? And also on Facebook, you could follow me under uh, Patricia Luna. Okay, so now I got that out of the way. Let's, uh, let's start with your reading. Okay, I have the... Uh, singing bowl here it's the crown chakra so i'm going to bring this now if you have anything that you feel like just emptying out of your heart okay um take a deep breath in and let everything go at the same time it clears your space it clears my space and it's all good so let's start Count number two. I'm going to have to do it third time. Much better. Okay, Aries. Now I'm going to take my spray. I have some channeled messages I have to give you. So um, put some on my Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, some for you and some for me. It smells so good. This is called the Violet Flame. So, now, you know that I have usually three uh, Oracle card decks that I usually uh, show you at the end of the reading, where right now all you have to do is ask questions. If you have any questions to ask or anything that you want to know and you're not sure of, uh, ask the questions now, and then at the end of the reading, we'll uh, look at the, the Oracle cards. But Spirit and my, and my angels have, have told me that I had to purchase two new decks for the month of March for all of you this year. So I have five decks, not three, five, okay? So the first one I'm gonna show you is Romance Angel, and you got three, okay? 
and I'm gonna put the rose pointed quartz on it. Then I took the Keepers of Light. Keepers of Light, also three here, okay? And I got Amethyst. And then I got here, Ask Angels, three cards with the rose quartz. That's like this. It's flat, this one's flat. Then I got Archangel Raphael, three cards. And I put the clear quartz. And last but not least, Archangel Michael with three cards. So you could choose by deck or you could choose by the crystal. Put the black obsidian with Archangel Michael. Or you could just not choose anything and see what the, what your spirit guides are, what you ever you feel intuitive about. So I'm going to put them on the side now here. And we're going to come back at the end of the reading for it. Okay. So I'll put them over here for now. Now. I also took out three challenge cards for you, and I took out three theme cards. The three the theme card means it's what the reading is going to be about for some of you, and I also got the three challenges. So we're going to go with the three challenges. Before I even touch this, I have to say that there's going to be a new beginning in finances for you in the month of March. I feel mostly for finances, you, uh, I, I, they showed me a wheel. So for me, right away, it's like the wheel of fortune. So there's luck will be on your side in the month of March, and. I also feel that in the month of March, there's going to be a lot of healing done in your heart. So in the background, it's on my music, okay? Just to let you know, it's on my music. But I had, the in my in my spirit guides had asked me to put some kind of heart meditation for you. So that's what's playing in the background. So it's uh, it's not my music, but I, I put it in the background just for you like that. You could hear it. And it's a, it's a meditation, so it will help you release while you're listening to me. Uh, so, uh, I got that, uh, there's, that you will have financial success in the month of March, continuing to the month, month of April as well. And as well, yeah. And, but, uh, the wheel of fortune, a lot of you are going through a rebirth, but they're also telling me that in the matters of the heart, there's going to be a lot of healing done in the month of March. You're going to get a healing from the stars, a healing from the universe, from God itself. Okay. There's a healing that's coming for you okay a lot of you will be nurturing your relationships um things that went wrong with someone from the past okay i feel a lot here and um some of you are like stuck in this mindset or this pattern like you you know some of you keep looking at all the things that went wrong in the past like you're you're a lot in your past thinking about maybe things that did not work out for you is what i'm picking up strongly here and a lot of you are multitasking you're multitasking you're doing too many things at the same time um i, I feel that there's a need for you to be to uh, to ground is what they're showing me that you need to ground yourself to mother gaia and you know maybe you could exercise or go in nature walk in nature or do a lot of meditation is what they're saying and uh, mostly for the heart chakra so try to wear a lot of rose quartz if you can pink is very good to wear as well or red okay it's like anything like 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 even as a bracelet like this look i have an extra one here look see like rose quartz like this where you could wear it okay and try to um is what i'm saying and and not to rush into anything okay because this month is not going to be like um uh, it's going to be a great month financially. Yes, you know, for some of you, if you're like, uh, for example, um, higher position, um, money coming in, uh, I feel that people are watching you and like, in a sense, like when I say watching you, I mean like that people are watching you and they want to bring you on their team. Uh, but there's something beautiful happening for you in that way, okay? So you are getting a healing and a blessing at the same time. So the month of March for you, it will be to like, just take care of yourself and uh, nurture your uh, nurture your heart and your relationships okay so the first challenge card you got here is number 27 maybe for some of you you are born march 27th okay because that's when your birthday month will be uh and um so here it shows me or number nine or two or seven I feel that you're going to be walking away from a past that uh, caused you a lot of hurt and pain. Uh, some of you are just like taking one look, one like one last look behind you, and you're going to say, "Okay, I'm done. Uh, it's time for me to go." 
And this walk, this is a challenge for you because you need to walk away maybe from someone that you truly loved. Okay, this doesn't have to be a person, like a, a like a, a love relationship. It could be also a family member, a friend. It could be like a community. But there's something that you need to walk away from. And this is going to be one of your challenges in the month of March. Also, you got the gateway. No, the garden and the gate, number 30. Some of you are right now, I feel that this is like... You're looking, you have a gate here, right? And you're behind the gate and you're just contemplating. You're taking your time. It's just good because this is what you have to do. You're going to have to take your time. You have to make decisions, okay? And you know that you have to, if you would pass this gate here, that this is where it's the unknown and you're going to have to walk through it. And it looks like a promising time for you, but you're taking your time. And the month of March is about taking your time. And this is going to be your challenge is for you to walk away, Okay. And you got number 19, rest and rejuvenation. So this talks to me that you need to rest, take the time that you need in the month of March to rest, okay? There's a lot of uh, DNA activations happening. Uh, there's a 333 portal, exactly that I'm doing this video on March uh, the 3rd, actually. And so it's a very, th today is a very important um, day in the stars, in the universe. And so a lot of you will be dreaming, your visions will be strong. And I also see that spiritually you are, like your intuition is strong too. So spiritually you're going to uh, be more aware. Uh, you're going to wake up with a sense of renewal. Okay. So now for the theme here, I got the 10 of Ariel. 10 of Ariel. Okay, so this talks about, it says there is a very, there is so very much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. So congratulations. It's a number 10. It's a new beginning. Okay. Then you got the eight of Raphael, the eight of cups walking away. So it's, 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 they're showing me this card twice. It's like this card here. I feel a lot of you will be, or maybe you have already walked away. Okay. But you're still feeling the hurt and the pain from it is what I'm picking up very strong for you. So is there, is, they're saying there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a, spirit, a spiritual quest. So a lot of you will be going on your spiritual journey, okay, in the month of March. And you got peace, number 13. Release the past. There is more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. This is beautiful. So you need to let go of your past. And I know it's not easier. It's not easy. It's not easy to just let go of the past. Some of you will be relocating or moving or going on vacation in the month of March as well. So let me just uh, shuffle the cards a bit and we'll go we'll get started with your reading. Okay, Aries. So if this reading so if this reading doesn't resonate with you, then always check your rising, your moon, or your Venus. Venus is so important because it's the planet of love. If you do not know what your rising moon and Venus is, go on Google and click and click um, free birth chart. And there's like astro.com or cafeastrology.com. And just you just have to put uh, your, um, if you don't have your time of birth, just put 12 p.m. standard time where you're born, your name, and you're going to get your chart. It's a free chart. It's always good to have. So I see that also um, the whole year, not just like in March, because I could predict for further, but the whole year, even in September of 2019, for you, Aries, it's going to be very auspicious with uh finances a lot of abundance is coming towards you okay a lot of abundance a lot of you are going through a rebirth as well okay this is the year for you to go through that rebirth and healing your relationships friendships family any people from the family you know it's gonna be like a completion like um, um a new era will start for you there are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, right? Rising and Venus for Aries for March. Please give me Aries. Okay, I have to do something here. Hold on. Okay. Uh, so let's see what the messages are. 
I'm going to put down one, two, three, four layers, which will be the, for the first week, second week, third week, fourth week. Whenever you see this reading will be the right time for you. Everything is always in divine timing. Oops, this card wants to come out. Okay, so for the first week of uh, March, um, I got here, this could be you, Aries, that you're not in your element, okay? It's a lot of water element. Mercury is going retrograde March 5th. And then the March 6th, there's going to be... March 6th is going to be also the new moon, okay, in Pisces. Um, but the, then there's also going to be a full moon, okay? I think it's March 20 or 21st, which is a very good full moon for you. Maybe the new moon is going to just be a bit shaky for you. It depends, okay? We'll see what's going on here. There's a lot of passion coming back into your life. Some kind of passion. Maybe it's like, you know, you taking care of yourself, loving yourself, self-love. And it's like this new renewed passion will come about. What are the messages here? For Pisces. Oops, did I say Pisces? I'm so sorry. Aries. I think it's like... Um, some of you are have a Pisces moon, or, or maybe it's because I just said new moon in Pisces, or it's probably someone that you know that has a Pisces that you're looking for an answer. Because sometimes that happens to me. The divine is gonna also give you clear cl clarity. It's like you're gonna cut, you're gonna see through everything from the at the. I feel more at the end of the month. You're gonna see everything clear. It's not gonna be like a black cloud following you. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of communication as well. A lot of communication. What are the messages here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the messages here? There's going to be a lot of solutions for you in the month of uh, March. A lot of solutions. Oops, that card almost fell to the floor. There's going to be a lot of solutions for you. Uh, I don't feel like I, I feel like. When you get this completion or this wheel that's coming towards you, you're not going to like go very quickly like ahead of you. You're not going to move qu quickly. What Spirit is telling me is that you're going to stay in the moment. You need to stay in the moment. Um, and you also probably need to stay in a hermit mode. Okay, You're not going to want to be around people because you know Mercury is going retrograde until the 28th. From the 5th to 28th. Right now it's in the shadow period. So there's going to be a lot of communication breakdown. Uh, you know, computer might fail. Uh, to, your phone might not work. Uh, make sure if you're signing any papers that you check them like a lot of times. And make sure if you send anything on email, it's sent. Okay, more than once because sometimes Mercury Retrograde could do that. Boy. What are the messages from Aries? So I also want to wish all of you a happy birthday that's coming in because I know March 21st, right? 20, uh, 20 21st, uh, it's Aries season, right? So I want to wish all of you a happy birthday in advance. I wish you a, a day, your day to be blessed with love, happiness, many blessings, and all your heart's desires to come true. And so it is. Messages. Come on. Okay. I feel that like there's a need of, for uh, some of you areas that you need to still work on yourself. You need to heal yourself. You really need to take time for yourself. Okay. Three more cards. I will take out three more cards. And these three cards, I will show you them after. Those. These three cards that I'm taking out right now, Aries, is um, to show you what's coming in for you in April. Aries, March 2019. Oops, there we go. Give me that. Two more cards for Aries. Oh boy, they're okay. Oh, they took me four. Okay, we'll put them here now. There will be a new beginning for some of you in the month of March. There's a new beginning 
Okay, and I also got here something that's coming into you long term. Some of you could this could be also a commitment that's coming towards you long term, or this has to do with your marriage. Okay, there's a new beginning taking place here. Maybe a renewal for some of you. Maybe for some of you, you have to give a, your relationship a chance or your marriage a chance. But there's something coming in and they don't want you in the month of March to make any drastic decisions, okay? So I'll show you the cards. As you know, I'm a channeler, so I'm here to channel the messages because I use them as a tool. You could see them as you want them, okay? So I got the Queen of Wands reversed, followed by the Ace of Wands followed by the five of ones. So over here, okay, I'm gonna put them back here. I feel that you are not happy at this moment. Maybe in the first week ending, I feel it's more like in the ending of February, I think it started and it's, it's coming in the first week that um, you're probably very angry. There's people around you maybe that are getting you angry, Aries, or you're stuck in a, in a place where there's a lot of gossip or drama. Okay, or you're fighting within yourself. Okay, very simple. But you've got a very nice card. You're the Ace of Wands. The, the angels are coming in to bring you passion back. Okay, and this could also be for a marriage. Okay, now the Queen of Wands could be that you're dealing with someone that is an Aries like you, Sagittarius or Leo. It doesn't have to be. But it could also be you that you're not in your element in the first week. Okay, in the second week, you got the Eight of Swords reversed, the Six of Swords reversed, and the Four of Pentacles, okay? In the second week, you're not feeling stuck anymore, okay? And you, some of you are having, some of you probably wanted to move forward or relocate or move or go on vacation or you want to move forward from this thing, but I feel that you're staying there. There's something that you are, you're not wanting to leave is what I'm picking up, okay? And the Four of Pentacles for me represents stability, okay? There's so some kind of stability that you're wanting or someone has to open their heart. There's something about opening the heart over here that's very, very prominent. In the third week, you got the Ace of Pentacles reversed, the Six of Wands upright, and the Page of Cups upright. So the third week talks to me about there's some kind of gift that's coming to you, but it's still in delay. But it's going to, whatever you're working on, whatever it is, it's going to be very successful. There is an offering here of apology or a friendship or you just sharing your love with someone, opening that heart of yours. In the last week, I got the Five of Cups reversed, an emotional loss, followed by the Six of Cups reversed, followed by the Nine of, Cup, uh, Nine of Pentacles. So for I feel that there's an emotional loss from the past year that you're dealing with and you're still dealing with it. Chiron is an Aries. So at this moment now, it's all about, and it's going to be with us for the very long time. And it's all about healing relationships, healing the past. Um, you know, there's something that uh, maybe there's a lot of things that are coming to the surface right now for you. Now, I want to take other cards here just to clarify what's going on here for you. So there's one thing that I do want to do for you. You see this Ace of Pentacles that's reversed. I'm going to put it upright for you. For this gift to come in or this money for some of you this has to do with finances and so it is um i feel here that for some of you and all of you that this has to do that your finances are like a bit like um you know like a balance like this so i put that upright for you and when I asked why the Queen of Wands is reversed, they're giving me the Sun card. So something is coming about that's going to change things for you. Okay. And uh, you're working very hard in detail here in the first week. And the Sun is shining on this. So this is Jupiter coming in to help you, which I feel very strongly Jupiter in Sagittarius for the whole year is helping you Aries a lot, okay, in your work area. These are like four angels. I see fours here, already two fours. And I'm feeling that the angels are really uh, surrounding you at this moment, at this time. And there's going to be stability in finances for you. I really feel very strongly about this, okay? You feel like giving up, but don't give up, Aries. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're working on, whatever it is, it feels... If let's say you're going to school and you're doing exams or 
or if uh, you're working in a job and you f don't feel like they value you or they love you or because this month you're going to be doubting yourself a lot and I just want to just make you aware of that that you have to find your inner strength okay because Aries do not give up on whenever whatever you're working on because I really believe, I know that you're stressed out in the first week. It shows me here. Maybe you're dealing with someone that's stressing you out. But for others of you, I really feel that this is you stressing yourself out. Okay, because you're doubting everything about yourself. And, you know, and don't give up, you know. You're like a number eight. Okay, number eight. It's, uh, it's like... Um, if things in the last 10 years, for example, financially, things were not going well for you, well, there's going to be a change around, okay? There is. The sun is here. The ace of wands is here to bring you this opportunity. It's like there's going to be a fire coming in with that inside. Like you're going to... Um, it's I don't know how to explain it, but it's like you're going to be like rejuvenated again, Okay. One is the aces, one is you. It's going to be an ending. There's an ending of you carrying things on your shoulders. You're going to start feeling the inklings of this in the first week going into the second week. Okay? Honor the process you're going through. Heal your past it's important to let go and heal your past but really heal and open that heart it's not easy to open that heart and go into all that it's just, but you have to do this you have to do this it's so important nine of wands this could be again another aries like you leo or uh, Sagittarius here there's someone here that's gonna that's I feel that's coming in uh, for some of you maybe it doesn't have to be like a fire sign but there's someone here uh, that is here for you that is gonna probably bring this passion back into your life is what I feel or it's you that's ready to you know um, for some of you you're ready to like move forward but they're asking you not to move forward fast they want you to wait in the month of March, okay? Why is the five of wands here for Aries? Why is the f five of wands here for Aries? Too many cards. I just need a few cards, not the six of them. <laughs> okay, why is the five of wands here? Okay, let's see why. Okay, they want me to take out these cards. Look at that. I can't believe they did that. <laughs> I didn't want to take these cards before, remember? And I said, okay, I'm going to try again. And they took out the cards again. So this is important for someone out there, for them to do this. Okay. So the divine is going to come in and give you clarity, like I was telling you. Okay, so the divine is coming in to give you clarity. Um, you're going to see things the way that there should be. <clears throat> Clear. Maybe some of you are already feeling this. A lot of communication, seeing things clear. You're going to wake up. Your intuition is going to be stronger. Your awareness, your spiritual gifts are going to grow in the month of March. Okay. And there's someone here that is a uh, Taurus, okay, Virgo or Capricorn. This could also be Saturn that's here to help you. Because Saturn is like that, you know, it's like um, they want to, Saturn is a planet that wants to keep you like on a straight line and doing things in a certain way. Or this is someone that you're meeting that has this quality here. These qualities could be a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. But someone that's stable, someone that's stable, that's probably coming in for you, okay? Um, they want to, you know, um, or, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> so communication is going to be very clear, like I'm saying, sorry, communication is going to be very clear. This person that's coming in could be someone that's a bit older than you, it doesn't have to be, but there's someone here that's coming in to help you financially, or there's someone that you're meeting, okay, you could be meeting this person at a workplace, at a seminar, um, you could be working, you could be meeting someone here where they're a bit older, okay, and, or someone that's a kindred soul that's coming to help you in a financial way, okay, because you're going to be seeing things clearly, and a lot of views are not sure what's happening here, but because 
you know, you're, because in a certain way that you're feeling like in the first week, you're going to be feeling wobbly, okay? You're not going to feel in your element. Maybe there's a lot of like chaos around you, okay? A lot of you will not let your, I feel like you need to choose your battles wisely, Aries, okay? Because I feel that for some odd reason here, you're, you're not going to just let anybody in, okay? But there's something that you need to heal. There's something that you need to heal here. Uh, and it's already showing up. <clears throat> someone here has a throat. <clears throat> Sorry about that. There's someone here. I need to drink some water. <clears throat> There's someone here that's listening that has problems talking or speaking their truth. Your throat chakra is blocked, so you have to wear a lot of blue. And also, maybe, uh, you know, buy the crystal lapis lapsuli. That will help very much. <clears throat> but the past year is not something about the past that did not work out well. Okay. <clears throat> this has to let go. If any, if anything, you're going to bring someone else in your life. If some of you, this is, you're bringing a new person in your life. You're, you're going to need to let this go. Because I do, you, you're going to need to let your past go. Okay, so I'm going to put the Three of Swords reversed so that you don't feel this pain as much. But you will have to work on yourself. Okay, I don't know who this is for. Okay, but it's for someone that is listening here right now with me. <clears throat> <clears throat> I also feel, I see a lot of number 1111. For some of you here, for some of you, let's say about 10, 15%. How you are getting married in the month of March, or you're going to be moving in in the month of March. For those of you that were in separation, for some of you, you will be reuniting again under the same roof. But I see joy. I see you seeing the truth, forgiveness. I see it all in the first week going into the second week. Okay. So let me put these cards back here and let's go to the second week. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed? Why is the Eight of Swords reversed? Why is the Eight of Swords reversed? For those of you that haven't been feeling well, like in health reasons, you're going to regain your strength in the second week of uh, March. But maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo, okay? Because I do see a strong fire energy here. Maybe you have you are in Aries and your moon is in Leo, okay? Maybe I'm talking to someone that, that has that in their chart, okay? And I also see number eight. Even though it's an infinity number, I also see number eight. What I'm noticing, this infinity number that's showing up uh, very strong, is that because, you know, it goes like this, right? So there's... A part of your life that maybe things were not going well for you, but things are going to change. And I really see that very strongly, okay? Maybe something also in the month of August of 2019 will be very prominent for you. Okay, oh, this one goes here. It's an ending, again, another ending. An ending, okay? Um, this is an ending of a situation of an era for you. I feel more it's an era than a situation. It's like, it's not just recent. This could have taken place like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, eight years ago, five years ago, but it's ending of a situation and you are going to get healed. Look at this woman here. Okay. Whether you're a woman or a man. Okay. It's a, it's a 10. It's the ending. And there's a new beginning that's going to take place. The stars, the universe is helping you to heal. This around you, the white, is a healing. So you are, I do feel that some of you are going to be getting a healing in the second week. You should also, if you know anybody that does Reiki, okay, that's a master Reiki, or you you could do it on yourself if you're a healer, okay, but you should be getting that for the month of March. It would help. It would really help. A lot of you are wanting to okay so i know what this card is for some of you now it's this is the it's reversed this is about usually moving relocating or going on vacation but i feel that some of you need to go on vacation right aries i know i'm getting this okay because i just got a, a yes you need to rest okay but some of you don't cannot leave maybe because financially you can't 
So I'm going to put this card upright for you. Like that, for some of you that would want to go on vacation and to rest, it's here for you. And hopefully it will come in for you in the month of March. You have 444 on the ground. 444 means that the angels are working behind the scenes. They're there for you. Ask your angels to come into meditation with you. It's an ending again of a difficult era is what I'm picking up very strong. Four pentacles here. Why is the four pentacles here? Why is the four pentacles here for Aries? Why is the four pentacles here for Aries? Justice. Some of you are dealing with a Libra. Something is off balance. This could be a marriage. This could be a partnership. Okay, but something is off balance here with this person as well. And things are not fair and just for you, for some of you. Um, or for, what it means is also that things haven't been fair and just with you. Uh, maybe with finances, with love. So I want to put this card upright for that reason only. Not for the person, if it's for a person, okay? It's because I would like you to have to be that things are going to be fair and just for you and that you're going to seek things clearly, okay? It's very important. I really feel that this is going to help you. So I'm going to give a knock on it, that things will be in balance and things will be fair and just and you're going to see things clearly, okay? Because I see it here. It's very beautiful what's happening in your cards. But what I'm picking up very strongly is that you need to heal very strongly as well. You need to heal your past, let go of your past, but there's still something that's not completed here for you. Hmm. I got the world card reversed next to the Ace of Pentacles. Now, you remember the Ace of Pentacles was like this before, right? I was up, it was reversed. So <laughs> I'm going to put them upright because this has to do with finances for you. I know for sure this has to do with finances and I know I could help you with this. So I'm going to put it here and that knock on it. And so it is for those of you that are wanting this finances for anything, a gift to come in, this completion, I'm giving it to you because you deserve it, Aries. Okay. There's a new beginning, traveling, a new beginning, and there's a healing taking place here again. Look at the woman over here. Look at the healing part. Your heart is open. The Libra moon, the Libra full moon will help you in the month of March. It will fall in right when your birthday birthdays will start. Aries, I love the energy of this community that we have here. This is our little community, me and you together. And I just love your comments. Just tell me when your birthdays are, and maybe you're going to find your birthday twins. Okay, at the same time. And uh, I always love to hear from you. I really love your energy. I love you people very much. You people, I meant your beautiful souls. <laughs> the successful... Look, success. Why is the six of wands here? Why is the six of wands here? Oops. You will need to go within to find your answers. So it's I, I got it like this. I'm going to put it up. Now, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. True. But... Um, I feel that you need to go within because people need you. Okay, Virgos, uh, Virgos, sorry, Aries. I'm doing this video very late, but um, what I mean to say is that people need your light, Aries. Okay, you have a way of like when you're walking into a room, your energy, your aura, you're happy. You're like your child within. People need that light, but because it's like this, right? This shows me that you're not going within. You will have to take some time off to re to recharge. See, that will be your challenge here. And it, look, this is your challenge. Okay, 
You will need to take time to recharge. Because people need your light, Aries. They need you. You know, you make you make people laugh. You're you're fun to be with in energy. You're vibrant. You're beautiful souls. But you also need to take time and take time for you. Take care of you. You come first. You can't put everybody else first, Aries. Not always. For some of you, uh, you will be you. Uh, for some of you. I would say about 7% of you. There's some of you that will have babies in the, or you're going to conceive or you're going to know that you're going to get pregnant or you're going to find out something like that. For others of you, you can't have be pregnant or anything because you're older or you had your children already or you just can't have kids. There's something, whatever you're, that you're working on, if you keep working on yourself, a project, if it's a school project, if you're going to school for you know, to take uh, your PhD, if you're like working on a project, a, a personal project, there's something that's going to come into abundance. Even if you're just working on you, you're going to be renewed because you're going to be going through a rebirth. Something beautiful is coming in for you to bring you that, okay? So you're waiting. There's something that you're waiting. I'm happy that you're waiting. You're going to be, you want to offer, there is a friendship here that you're offering a friendship to somebody, but you're still waiting. You get, you got all your signs. You got all your signs. You, you, you you're enlightened here. You know, but you're also, you know that the angels have been really working like around you. And, you know, a lot of you, I feel some of you already have ascended, ascended and others of you, there's still a prog some process to do to go there but the angels are around you and um you're just waiting and it's perfect i like the fact that you're still waiting and neptune you know like uh, neptune is also um mercury i think is in the neptune and it's the month of march will be a lot of people like will not be honest there's gonna be a lot of be a, you're gonna see like the masks fall off uh, for some of you, okay, so that's why they're asking you to, like, you know, not believe, like, you really need to trust your intuition, so not to believe everything that you hear, okay, Aries, now, you're waiting for someone to come in to offer you friendship, this could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or someone that's a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, there's an offering that's coming in both ways, this could be financially, someone's coming in to offer you a job, very friendly, very intuitive, very kind people. And you're just waiting because you've been seeing the signs coming in. For others of you, because Mercury is retrograde, no, nah, it's not going to be all of you, okay? Just don't, like some people go, I don't want nothing to do with my past. Fine. Maybe this is not about you. But there's some people that will be coming back from the past to apologize. Maybe they want to close things. They want to, oh, they, maybe you guys left in bad terms. I don't know. But there could also be an apology here. And this apology is coming in for you. Okay? For those of you that are waiting for an apology or you were wanting an apology from someone. So this emotional loss from the past, whatever it is, okay, it's not something that's happening now. But but because Chiron is in is in Aries, Chiron is the is the wounded healer. So a lot of things, maybe some of you are still processing of letting go of the past. This was something in the past, okay, that um, it's gone. But what I mean it's gone is that you're not living it now. But there's some things that are still coming to the surface for you tool if there's things that are coming from the surface from a past that something hurt you or someone hurt you or anything that financially whatever it is 
if it's surfacing, you need to look at it and you need to heal, okay? You're going to be going through a transition from a place where you, you were in the dark, you were in the unknown, and you're going to be going towards the light, okay? Where things are going to be bright and things are going to be different for you. So there is a transition that you will be going through in the last week of March. It's positive. It's very positive. And Aries... You need to put that crown back up on your head, okay? Because it's been knocked off too many times on the floor. <laughs> Here you go, the Wheel of Fortune. I saw it in my third eye. A lot of you, this Wheel of Fortune is a new beginning, a new era, a rebirth, money, everything that you ever wished for, stability is coming for you. But you need to believe it and trust what I'm telling you. Come back at the end of the month and come and tell me. Okay, if this is this really happened for you. Because like last month and the month before that, I got so many emails from Aries, all of you. Even in the comments, but really emails of all my predictions coming true. And I congratulate those of you. And those of you that haven't received that, it's coming for you. Just have to keep going, okay? Heal that heart. Heal your past. It's coming. There's someone that's coming in. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or it could be any sign here. Wanting to share love with you. Okay? I do see that. There's a new beginning. Okay. For some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, I would say about like 5% of you that are not working on themselves, that are self you're doubting yourself you're, you're feeling like your self-worth you have to pick yourself up so i'm going to put this card like this for you to pick yourself up okay because sometimes it's normal okay <laughs> sorry i guess your music changed to something else <laughs> uh so i hope you hear me but this is a nine of, of uh, pentacles it's so weird that this never happened to me okay so this is a sign for you that the music changed in the background because I have no idea how that happened. So I'm going to put this card up. I don't know who the song is and it's not my song. So these two cards are the High Priestess card and the Nine of Pentacles. This is how you're feeling, okay? I'm going to put this upright for you like that. That you are going to, your intuition is going to be strong. You're very, you're very knowledgeable. You're, a lot of you are old souls here. Okay. So, and so it is. Oh God. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. And I also got that you're going to be very stable in your emotions. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but I feel this is you, Aries. You have a water energy in your chart. You could be an Aries and your moon is in Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, okay? But this is how you're going to be at the end of the month because some of you are going to be getting an offer and the Wheel of Fortune here, and you're going through a transition. And there is a new beginning as well. Now, let me see the last four cards I took out here for you. Was four cards? Okay. So all these cards were reversed. Okay, for this is going to be for the month of April. So uh, this is the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm going to put it upright. Okay, and judgment coming in. Judgment talks about when something is faded to come in for you. Something is faded. Okay, someone or money. Because I got the Ten of Pentacles. And the Tower card was something that happened in the past for you. That caused this Tower. This we're going to leave it the way it is. Okay. But this, I'm going to leave it upright for you. So in April, some of you are going to start maybe buy a new home, purchase a new home. Some of you, if you have to wait, if you could wait until the end of March to buy a home, it's even more perfect. But there's going to be new beginnings and finances and judgment. Okay? So now, I don't own this music, so I just have to keep saying that. Um, I don't want to get a strike on <laughs> YouTube. I'm putting someone else's music. I don't even know who this person is, but it feels like it's rap to me. Some kind of rap music. I don't know the name of the song, so I have no idea. 
Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take out the Oracle cards. It just stopped. Wow. <laughs> okay, Aries. This is like awesome. It's the first time that this happens to me. I guess my angels are having fun, right? Yeah, they're probably having fun. Okay, let's go. Now, for those of you that chose <laughs> deck number one, Rose, Romance Angels with uh, the pointed um, rose quartz, you got release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Awesome. Then they're saying true love. Because there's someone else probably coming in for you. This is the romance of a lifetime. And they're saying very soon. C clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Beautiful. You could write a journal about what you want. Just write what you want. Do not say what you do not want. Just talk about what you want. For those of you that took, well, anybody that took this uh, deck of Romance Angels, good luck. For, you, for those of you that chose Amethyst with the Keepers of Light, you got Hil, Hilarion, Hilarion, Divine Healing. Maybe I'm, I don't know if I'm saying the right, the right name, but look how beautiful all this green. Some of you maybe need to wear Emerald too. I forgot to mention not only the Rose Quartz, but Emerald is good too. Yeah, necklace or wear a lot of green, okay? And it says, a divine healing. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. Beautiful. Oh boy, that card went flying. The next card you got is Bridget. 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 Inner strength. I feel like this is for you, Aries, because I associate red with, your, with, with, with who you are. And uh, this is you and the light, your passion is going to come back again, you know. And look at the green. There's a lot of green around. So there's a lot of healing and fire, love coming back. Inner strength. It says move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power, Aries. Beautiful. And the last card you got is Lord Ganesh. Lord Ganesh. Okay. And it's infinite abundance. It's coming, I'm telling you. And its obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Congratulations for this card. So for those of you that chose the Rose Quartz again with the Ask Angels, you got If You Believe. If you believe, you will receive. That's how it is. And you know when it's going to happen? Within the next few weeks. <laughs> this is true. Within the next few weeks. Okay, a major abundance coming in for you. The sun is shining and you got let go. Beautiful. I feel so happy for you. And for those of you that took the clear quartz with uh, Archangel Raphael, your first card is have faith. Have faith. Dear Jesus and Archangel Raphael, thank you for boosting my faith so I may trust in miracles. Yeah, because it's coming for you. And so it is. Amen. Laughter is the best medicine. And it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for reminding me to detach and find the humor and irony within each within every human drama. So it's thank dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for reminding me to detach and find the humor and irony within every human drama. The music is going back on again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Um, they're making me laugh. Okay, it's good. So uh, they're saying to stay positive. Aries, stay positive. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping me be optimistic and take the appropriate action steps that support my health. And amen to that. For those of you that chose the Black Obsidian with, not the least, but Archangel Michael, Positive thoughts create positive results. Po positive thoughts keep create positive results. So you have to keep thinking positive. Your prayer is, 
Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and co continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. Remember the universe is hearing you. Self-talk. Be careful of yourself. Your self-talk. And they're saying for some of you, it's time to leave this unhealthy situation. And your um, prayer is, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. And the last but not least card you got is, you and your loved ones are safe. You can sleep at night knowing that everybody that you love is safe. And your prayer is, Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. And then you can name other people. And please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. Wow. And amen to that. So I just want to mention something else as well because I forgot to mention at the beginning of my video. Well, actually, right now it's 5555. <laughs> So, wow. Anyways, this is an awesome reading, Aries. I know that a lot of you are not feeling well and that uh, you have a lot of healing to do. I will send you my love and prayers, okay, to all of you, Aries, uh, here, okay? And uh, just know that um, everybody in the collective ha ha is doing this at the same time. There's a lot of healing t that's taking place also. And I'm not just a psychic medium or a tarot reader or... A channeler but I am also a multi-dimensional being just like you in a human vessel and I'm here to help the collective I've been helping the collective since the day I was born <laughs> I, I did that I did a lot of healing for my parents and uh, for everyone in my life you know and uh, I'm here to change the template and you have your own missions too and you have a beautiful light Aries and that light that you shine people need you as well but first before you go out there you need to take care of you and recharge you first. Like that, you could shine that bright light of yours everywhere you go. And so I want to wish you a happy birthday again. Okay, have a beautiful March, and I'll see you in the month of April. Take care. I love you. Bye.